sort of underground slash fic. All of these subjects are sort of picked up and brought to the surface. But you're one of the characters on the show that gets to really kind of say it out loud and sort of play with it and be flirtatious with almost everyone. Are you, are you talking about the, 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 the purported sexual ambiguity? Of my yeah. Or are you talking about, about the fact that I think my character enjoys making people uncomfortable more than anything else. So I don't know whether whether the character per se has as much is as defined as much as people would like to. But how much fun is that as an actor? It's wonderful fun, especially as they keep writing they keep writing really good fun stuff for me to do. It's like it's a lot of fun. A lot of shows. I thought you were going to name them there. No. <laughs> and a lot of them are really great and really awesome. And Thank people you. really love them all. So now that you're a, a, a more core member of the cast, a more a bigger part of the mythology, have you been seeing a uh, pick up and people recognizing one from the show and asking you questions about where it's going? Well, there is there's, there's an interesting sort of level of, of, of fame. So, you know, look at the boys, for example. They've been on a very successful show for eight years and they've done other work as well. And everybody knows who they are specifically to that. And I've been on a lot of different shows and people sort of associate me with characters. And it's, it's very, I'm so proud of the fact that, that a lot of the characters I've played impersonation with the fans. It's been a wonderful experience. But it's fun to watch and my family watches that it's gone from, are you that guy, to the next level being the name of my character. And now it's people actually knowing my whole and full name and spurting it out in public no matter where I go. It's kind of a bit shocking because you want everything served with the supino or something. But, but the fans are wonderful. It's a, it's an, you know, if, if you didn't like doing this stuff, you really couldn't do it. If you didn't enjoy this, why can't you on a Comic Con? I mean, there's more of it than there is anywhere else. Comic Con, Dragon Con, all these things. It's an opportunity to interact with, you know, with my peeps. I'm a fan too. So I'm a fan of other stuff. It's, I've got my friends who write comic books and TV series and all the genres cross over. And this is like the crossroads of that, I think, a lot. I've been coming here on and off 15 years. You know, before I was invited, <laughs> blagging my way in, you know, post X Files, I got to go around it. So, how much do you enjoy playing like a morally ambiguous, kind of shady, complex bad guy as opposed to playing a good guy? Who's a bad guy? Crowley's not a bad guy. Crowley's Crowley. Complex. Complex, but not a bad guy. Bad guys, traditionally bad guys are like, you know, the entire object of attention, the entire problem. I mean, I would, I would venture to say that Dick Roman was a classic bad guy in, in that context. And Crowley, not so. I mean, where's, where Crowley's cheating Dick Roman and helping the boys. I mean, what makes him a bad guy? The only thing that makes Crowley a bad guy is that Crowley was Crowley first. That's not a bad guy in my book. That's a man very sure and secure what he is. I'm putting you to sleep. <laughs> Jeremy is telling us the dynamic between the brothers and Crowley is definitely the change this season. And so how much without willing, how much uh, Does that mean he's that killing me off? Oh my god, am I dead again? <laughs> is anybody actually gonna believe it if he kills me? Yeah. Nobody is. Not at all. No, but, but especially me. Burnt my damn bones, I'm yeah. gone. He's never coming back. I had to hide it and I came back and it was like <laughs> The end of that episode in the diner. That was pretty, we did pretty well with it, didn't we? We hid that well. Yeah. Um, I took my name off it and everything. It was good. That was good. But, uh, I don't know. See, did you see me avoid that question? It was good. It was good. <laughs> what do you think Riley's ultimate goal is? Do you think he almost likes to cause chaos? And no, he knows what he's doing. Did you not hear what Ben said? Towards the end, he goes, Crowley is probably the most prepared of all of us. Somebody who's actually while they're running around trying to deal with what is, or react to what is going on around us. Crowley is always known. Go back and you watch what Crowley does. There's no mistake. I mean, what, I come in with a bit of a, a tear and a rip and a bit of smoke coming in? <laughs> my world has caved in? I don't think so. I've always managed to get what I've set out to get, right? I mean, I love the fact that you put you put Crowley in a you put Crowley in a, in a line of salt. You put Crowley in a, in a devil trap, demon trap, devil trap, with swords, knife. Doesn't matter what you got there. It's always 
Oh, I'll step back. Let you feel what you got me for a second. It's that amazing moment with Bobby where he jumps me in and I'm like, I call in the helmet. I mean, he's, unless you want to spend the rest of your life being an elbow, you fix it. I don't even have to break it. He has to break it. So it's, a, it's an interesting character trait. It's a lovely thing to play. You can't have too much of him, I don't think. Because otherwise it becomes super villainy, which is kind of pointless. I mean, but it does seem like Crowley is kind of the most dangerous because he succeeds because of his brain power and not because of everything else that's out there. So if he were to ever bring them all together... He seems to be very sure of what he's doing. Yeah. Which is an interesting... It's a great character to play for that reason. Does he have an agenda? Absolutely. Does he know what that is? Do I know what it is? Do I know what it is? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. But it will evolve. But it ha I think it has evolved since season five, right? You enjoying Crowley? Yeah. Popular character. <laughs> That is fun. I hear they fight over them. You bring such wonderful life to that character. You never really know exactly what true motivation is. It's so complex, and it takes a really talented actor to be able to bring that to the screen. That's why it's so... Don't forget. I mean, thank you very, very much for saying that. It's very kind. But don't forget the people I'm playing with are also really, really good. They make me look good, too. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that to nothing. you got to get a lot coming back. And it's been a joy to do thus far. You know, as long as they keep writing me in, I'll keep doing it. It's a lot of fun.